People knew Imam Musa Qasim as an humble, pious and knowledgeable person. Even his known enemies used to acknowledge his attributes. Mamun narrates an incident with Imam Musa Qasim and his father Harun Rashid who martyred a large number of Shia Muslims in his time. He asked his courtiers, Do you know from whom I have learned about Shia Islam? We don't know, we don't know. They replied, Harun Rashid introduced me to the Shia Islam. How did Harun teach you Shia Islam when he himself kills Shia Muslims? When I reached Medina to perform Hajj with Harun Rashid, Harun ordered that whoever wanted to meet me should first introduce himself and then permission will be given to enter the court. So whoever comes to his court he was granting them permission according to their status. Suddenly Harun's guards informed the court that a man named Musa ibn Jaffa wanted to meet him. Harun immediately replied to them, Bring him with his horse near my throne. When Imam Qasim saw Harun, he decided to get down from the horse. Harun said, No, no, I will not allow you to get down here. You will only get down near my throne. Then he with great respect, made the Imam sit near him and humbly asked multiple questions. Then when Imam was about to leave, he stood up out of respect, kissed Imam's face, gave him some gifts and commanded us to be with him until he reaches his house safely, and we did as Harun's ordered. I was very surprised at his honor and respect and I asked Harun, O oh my master, who is this that you are treating him with such respect and made him sit next to you and ordered that we escort him to his home with respect? Aren't you the leader and God's caliph on earth? I am the leader by force of the sword, but Musa ibn Jaffa is the real successor of the Prophet and he has superiority over every human being in terms of virtue and qualities. He is the true leader and actual caliph. Dear Father, then why don't you hand over the caliphate to him? My dear son, by God, if you oppose me in the matter of caliphate or government, I will also blow your neck. Then why did you respect him so much but gave him little gifts, even though you have given far more gifts to the common people in the court? Be quiet. It is better for them to be in need than to be rich, because if the hands of the alulbate reach the wealth, then the next day they will stand against us. In this way Harun revealed the facts that Imam Musa ibn Jaffa is indeed the Prophet's successor and the best person on this earth at that time. But unfortunately the greed of power do not recognize the right and wrong and gets snatched from its rightful owner.